Your Excellencies, I recognize in particular Senator Leo Limoke, former governor of Cross River State, members of the National Assembly, Honorable Minister Chivalex, and your family. A correct people, I salute you them. Alex, about two months ago, you spoke to me about some of your last moments with your mother. You had informed me that she had been taken to a hospital in a bony, that you had gone to visit. And Mama looked at you and said, enough. You have given me your utmost. You have taken me to the best hospitals around. It's enough. I am tired. I am satisfied with your love. I am ready to go be with God. Very few people have the privilege to harmonize with God before the past. Very few people have that consciousness. It is a privilege. And Mama is one of the very few who came to that point where she was satisfied that she had actualized all that God wanted her to in this life. She made peace with God and went to be with Him. So on coming here today and knowing that she is 85, or she was 85. We came here not to commiserate with you. We came here not to sympathize with you. Alex, we came to celebrate with you. Because Mama was a great woman. Over 20 years ago, we came to Akbara. Gertrude and I, and many of our other friends, and we met her in Ireland. Mama was an epitome of warmth. Mama was a bastion of availability. Mama's laughter could ring across this arena. She gave us food and more food. And she will insist that you should eat even more. She gave us pet names. I remember Gertrude's pet name, Eka Boy. And whenever she met Gertrude, she would always say Eka Boy. That was her name. Mama would come to Calaba and would bring us bits and pieces of Agbara. It would come in the shape of rice or yams. I am sure you got your own dose of generosity from her. Mama was an epitome of real motherhood. She was a matriarch. So I'm very sure that Baba is with God as we speak. And that from heaven she will continue to pray for us. That God should guide us. And guide you in particular. Because this world is slippery and tough and dangerous. Mama, continue to pray for Alex. Continue to pray for your family. And continue to pray for the rest of us. And so on behalf of my dear wife, Gertrude, and all our friends who have come here to celebrate with you, it is our prayer that God sustains my mind in his bosom. Amen. And I was going to the program. I'm sure I would not be wrong to say Mama's main duty and mission on earth was to raise Alex and bring, her, bring him up to the person that he is today become. And that is why she earned the sobriquet or the nickname Ma Alex. And everybody called her like that. So I think it's a great celebration of life. With the manner she lived and the manner she raised her legs and everybody who encountered her, I'm sure we would never 
in her memory, in her various memories, will never forget the fact that she walked the sands of this land. It was Claude Camille who said that to live in the hearts of those that will live behind, we would never die, we would never be forgotten. I believe, therefore, that for all of us that had a chance to encounter the movie with Ma, and for everyone that knew her and is here, her memories would live, would last and last. And why not she live the good life? She was an outstanding woman. Mark Twain said that we should live our lives in such a good manner so that even those that come to bury us will feel sorry about even our death. On a day like this, therefore, I think it's important that we capture the essence of life and the essence of dying. That when we are no more, it is the things that we leave behind, it's the manner that we live our lives that we continue to live after us. For Alex, let me say that I believe that the whole Agbara people and everybody that's here be very satisfied with the fact that you put together this to celebrate the demise of Ma. My prayer, my hope is that her death will open up much more that is positive for both Alex, for the entire community of Agbara and for the rest of the Kureku people. May she join me well and may God receive her soul. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, distinguished Senator John Eno, the Honorable Minister, Sports Development, Nigeria. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for us to hear from the representative of the Senate, of the uh, uh, Speaker House of Representatives. I, at this point, invite the member representing Ebony in Hauku Federal Constituency. He is also the Chairman House Committee on Banking and Ancillary Institutions. Please, can we put our hands together for Honorable Eze Unwachuku Eze? Please, can we put our hands together for him? Your Excellency, the former governor of uh, Cross River State, the Honorable Minister Sports, Federal Republic of Nigeria, the Chief Mourner, our own beloved colleague, Honorable Right Honorable. Alex PhD. Distinguished legists and gentlemen who have sacrificed their time, resources, and strength to come to be with our own, our own revered colleague who have made so much impact, not just in your constituency here but also in the proceedings in the National Assembly. Dr. Alex. Today, the Mr. Speaker, Abbas Stajudin, PhD, would have been here, flesh and blood, but due to the exigencies of his office, he has mandated me in company of these other colleagues and those on their way to come and represent him. This shows how important, how effective Honorable Alex has been in the National Assembly. He's a worthy colleague. So I will go ahead to read the speaker's condolence message. Right Honorable Alex Ebona, PhD, Chairman, Committee of Special on specialty health care. Thank you. I correct on the ball. I correct on the ball. What's up, Mo? The Chief Mourner, the Right Honorable Alex Ebona, the representative of the Speaker of the House of Representatives, the Honorable Minister of sports, very distinguished senators and members of the House of Representatives who are here. Let me stand on the protocol. Today 
is a day of celebration. It's a day where we celebrate the life of a great woman, Ma Alex, or Maria Enya. Ma Alex was a woman who was not just what we've already heard spoken about her, but she was the mother of a great son of Ekureku. And I think that in remembering her, we look at her son, Alex, and we see the characteristics of Ma reflected in her son, Alex. And I think that that is something that we must acknowledge. We must acknowledge the fact that Alex, who we celebrate, who's, who's celebrating his mother's departure, was particularly close to his mother. And every decision he made in his life, and every action he took in his life, was with the endorsement of his beloved mother. And so to Alex, even though we call this a celebration, this is a loss, a big loss. Because the loss of a mother, no matter how old, is a loss that is irreparable. So let me start with condoling with Alex Ebuna, the Right Honorable. But also let me say a few words about Mama's legacy. Mama's legacy of humanitarianism, humanitarianism. Mama's legacy of generosity. Mars legacy of accommodation. Mars legacy of goodwill is all reflected in one human being called Alex Ebona Hassan. And that is why I am here to celebrate a young man who is not so young anymore. But um, who I have seen grow through the years to become a full-grown, powerful, independent man. And I dare say, you will all permit me to call him today the leader of Abi. That is a reflection of Mama. That is what she reflects. And that is what I want us to remember. I believe that in Alex, we have a young man who we know to be extremely generous, who we know to be extremely accommodating, who we know to be extremely hardworking, and who we know to be a great leader of our people. Am I correct? And I believe very strongly that this celebration speaks volumes of this man who stands before us today to mourn the departure of his mother. It speaks volumes of him and I believe the future of this local government and this constituency. When I got in here, I looked at Alex and I said, everybody is here. I understand there's another funeral somewhere today, but I see that everybody is actually here in Agbara. And that speaks again volumes about the leadership skills, the leadership qualities that God has given to Alex Egonna. So as we celebrate Mama's life, we keep Alex in our prayers. And we pray that Alex will continue to grow from strength to strength. And that one day, beyond the House of Reps, we will see Alex in much higher office because of his good service to our people and to humanity. And so Alex, take heart. Mama has done well. You are, uh, you are a good reflection of Mama. We will let her to go and be in peace. May Mama so. May Ma Maria Enya Ma Alex continue to rest in perfect peace. Amen.
I thought we'll all be on our feet to clap for that. Very much welcome the member representing our camp of Biasa Federal Constituency. We recognize you. Let us commend and commit into the hands of God all that we have done here today for the happy repose of the soul of our mother. May our farewell express our affection for her. May it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day we shall joyfully greet her again when the love of Christ, which conquers all things, destroys even death itself. Trusting in God, we have prayed together for the happy repose of the soul of Madam Maria Enya. And now we have come to the last farewell. May God grant to the living grace to the departed rest, to our country Nigeria, peace and concord, to all of us gathered here, the promise of everlasting life. May the light of God guide us on our way back home. May it give us courage to support us and your blessings to unite us all in your service. May God the Father be with us as we grow. May the Son guide us in all our ways and may the Spirit enlighten our hearts both now and forevermore. Yeah. 
Kenya and grant that your daughter, whose body is to be laid to rest here, may dwell with Christ in paradise and come to your heavenly kingdom. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, I invoke the angel of death against any person or group of persons who will ever attempt to make wrong use of this grief for diabolic purposes in the name of Jesus. Amen. I, the officiating minister, now therefore consecrate this single grave to be occupied by our sister, Maria E. Enya, without any disturbance of her body until rapture. In the name of the Father, Amen. and of the Son, Amen. and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. To Kaloa, the pastor. this lady is not good. Let's use this one. Almighty God, the creator of the heaven and the earth, who had bound together your elect in one communion and fellowship in the body of your son, Jesus Christ. Grant, we pray you, to your whole church in paradise and on earth, your life and your peace in the name of Jesus. Grant to entrust Sister Maria E. Enya into your unfailing love. Receive her into the arms of her mercy. And remember her according to your favor which you have for your children in the name of Jesus. Grant us who are still in our pilgrimage and how we are to walk as yet by faith, that your Holy Spirit may lead us in holiness and righteousness all the days of our life. In the name of Jesus, help us, we pray, in the midst of things we cannot understand, to believe and trust in the communion of the saints, the forgiveness of sins, and the resurrection of everlasting life. Grant those who mourn, especially the members of the family of our departed sister Maria, a sure confidence in your fatherly care that casting all their griefs on you, they may know the consolation of your love in the name of the Father, Amen. and of the Son, Amen. and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Can we say the Lord's Prayer? Our Father.
Now listen to this sentence. At the end of each sentence, you will say, May my soul rest in peace. Amen. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and I am the life. He who believes in me, though he dies, yet shall he live. And whosoever lives and believes in me shall never die. May I so rest in peace. Sentence number two. Verily, verily, I say unto you, the hour is coming, and now is when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God, and they that hear shall live. May I so rest in peace. We brought nothing to this world and we will take nothing out. The Lord gives and the Lord takes away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We are so blessed in Sentence number four. For thou shalt not leave my soul in hell, neither shalt thou suffer thy holy one to see corruption. We are so I know that my Redeemer liveth, and that he shall stand at the later day upon the earth. And though after my skin wants this body, yet in my flesh shall I see God, who I shall see myself, and in the eyes of the Lord I will be and not my Sentence number six before the last one. Neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. We are so the seventh and the last one. I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Right from henceforth, blessed are the dead which die in the Lord. Say yet the spirit, for the rest from their labor. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, which given us the victory. Through Christ Jesus our Lord. May our soul rest in peace. This is Comita. I just get the sun in the shoulder and give to the sun. Just give it your whole face. Or you can even hold it in your hand if you like. Okay. Just hold it first. For as it has pleased the Almighty God of His mercy to take back to Himself the soul of our beloved sister. Maria E. Enya, we therefore commit her body to the ground, the mother eggs, eggs to eggs, ashes to ashes. Are you economizing the sound? Dust to dust. Amen. In the show and certain hope that the spirit which has returned unto God, who gave it, will be reunited with her resurrected body at the second coming of Christ, when the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, <coughs> with the voice of the archangels, and with the trump of God, 
for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible. For the corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. Then shall be brought to pass the saying that it is written. Then is swallowed up in victory. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Father, this body committed to Mother Earth shall remain safe without any disturbance until rapture, when your spirit shall be reunited with this body. This body shall not respond to any form of incantation, satanic, juju, mame, and any other demonic manipulation to afflict the living or the members of this bereaved family. In the mighty name of Jesus. This is the final. My name is Noble Dr. Alex Ebola. I'm a shaman. My mother was being my mother the last respect. I said, I'm not your local legacy. I said, I'm not your local legacy. I went to the church. I was going to the church. Ma did a lot of things for me. Quembo did not even believe in me. She believed in me. Even though she was not in the educational advance in terms of Western education, she was in the church that I went to school. That is what I am today. To she touched me, the spirit of. She, she told me all the words to play, don't steal. Even when things were very difficult, I didn't steal anything. Oh, that's one of the legacy. The second legacy in life is that I should be generous to people. Because whatever I got is by the grace of God. As somebody who loves the father at the age of 10, in this community, if you lost your father, your father at an early age, only few, I mean, who are able to go to school. What they do, what you do, is to be a servant to your uncle, or to your mother, sister, or their father, brother. But we were, me and my mother were able to be raised up. The assignment we give ourselves that amount, we were able to be raised up. And by the grace of God, I did that through her effort. Thank you. Uh, I think, um, as um, the chief monitor has said, we lost the young woman.